We promised you we would get to some royal wedding stuff and who knew we would actually have Harry and Meghan here in the studio. I am as shocked as you. We could not get an invitation. However, we are all dressed up. We have, of course, Amanda. You saw her pop out of a whiskey barrel last night. Now we're gonna talk of the Royal Wedding and then our brand new, very wonderful, authentic British friend, Lou Featherstone. Actually real British. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can find her on Instagram. I followed you on Instagram for a while and have just been thinking, what can we do to have her on the show? Because you are just so wonderful. You look like so oh, much fun. Thank you. And today we have brought you in, of course, to talk about the Royal wedding because you probably know, know more at least more than me because I am the dumb American that knows nothing <laughs> but while we do this one thing we should be looking out for when we watch the royal wedding tomorrow is the fancy hats the fascinators right mm. yes absolutely it's the best part about it the dress the right? outfits the hats <laughs> yeah, that's and the, the tiaras best which I didn't get the memo for that but <laughs> we have bought some wonderful supplies very fancy things at the dollar store and we are going to in the next two minutes try to build our own fascinators with flowers. We have some mesh, we have teacups, which don't glue that to your head, but um, why not? And then some tea cakes also. And while we do this, oh. ladies, we will, uh, yeah, we've got two hot glue guns. So um, Amanda, you don't have, no, just kidding. <laughs> we've got bows, we've got flowers. How do you, so Lou, what are you thinking looking ahead to tomorrow about all the fashion and the, and oh, the dress, I, of course. Well, I mean, obviously, Megan's super stylish and is super modern. I'm hoping we're going to see a nod to Diana and maybe her Ooh, fabulous uh -huh. dress going back. Uh, so, yeah, super exciting. Now, uh, do you think people in America or people over in the UK are more excited? Because for us American girls, it's like, uh, what? Uh, I could have been a princess? I know. Well, that's <laughs> the, this is the most exciting thing. I mean, for the Brits who live in America, this is... Uh, definitely our best of both worlds, right? So it's not often an American princess, uh, American gets a chance to become an actual British princess. It's very exciting. Is there animosity there? Because you're like, oh, one of us should have been princess uh, instead. Well, a little bit, you know, <laughs> but I mean, I can't blame Harry. She is gorgeous and he's never met me, so. <laughs> and you've lived in Portland for four years. Four years, what, yes. Is there any similarities between Portland and, and the UK? Oh, well, I'm from, my hometown is Brighton, which is an amazing little town by the sea. And Brighton, and Portland often get compared. Uh, they're very, very similar. In fact, Brighton just stole the hipster city of the world, what? number one spot from Portland. For real? Mm -hmm. Oh my so gosh. My friends from Brighton are all like, oh, you're coming home now. <laughs> <laughs> like, I just wanted to go to the most hipster city. Why did you move to, did you know when you were coming to Portland, is that like one thing you're looking forward to oh, is all the hipsterness? I just love Portland. <laughs> I love the outdoors. I love the people, the food. I mean, even the rain. I genuinely love this place. It, it made it, um, everybody's made us so welcome. I am better, I'm happier living in Portland than I am with my fascination. Look at the state of that. <laughs> now, the, bad, the downside to you living in Portland for the Royal Wedding is now you have to wake up way too early. So I... NBC's coverage starts at 1.30 in the morning yep. when people start arriving. Guests start arriving at 1.30 and then I'm going to set my alarm for 3.30 because I okay. want to see Megan arrive at the church, at the castle. Uh, but the best bit's after the service when they go in the carriage and they'll oh, go around with yes, them. of course. Okay, ladies, well, we can keep working on these. Again, you can watch that tomorrow morning on KGW.